I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know Welcome back to my channel. If you are new and you have never been here before, welcome. Um, if you have not yet already done so, click below and hit the subscribe button. We would love to have you a part of the family um, on, on the journey to me and my husband starting our little family. Um, so today I'm doing something a little different, um, but I've done this before. Um, I'm going to be doing a live pregnancy test. So I'm going to explain this more if you've been to my channel before, um, if you've been here for a while, then you know what is up with this. Um, but I wanted to do it again and I'll talk about that in a minute. But first, I wanted to give you guys just a little update on what's going on with my cycle. Um, last that you knew, I was <clears throat> kind of taking a break for a few months, letting my hormones kind of balance out. Um, and I was going on new medication. I had to get a CT sc scan done and all that stuff. Um, so. I have been taking my medicine. The doctor prescribed me spironolactin, which is a diuretic, um, but it also helps lower the testosterone levels. So I was on a lower dose of that, and I took that for a month, and then after a month, she just, actually today was my first day taking the increased dose. Um, so I'm on the increased dose that I'll be staying on for a long time until I'm pregnant. Um, cause technically you're not supposed to be taking that while you're pregnant because it's not healthy for a fetus. So, um, once I find out I'm pregnant, I will not be taking that anymore. It's made me a little queasy. Um, it's, I've had less of an appetite, which I guess is good because I mean my portions have cut back a lot. So it's just helping me watch that, which is good. Um, and yeah, that's kind of all that is, but I did have a CAT scan earlier this month. Um, actually, I think it was the end of last month. So at the end of October, I had a CT scan um, because my DHEAS um, was elevated above 700. And when it's above 700, um, they want to test for tumors on the adrenal glands. Um, nine out of 10 times, they're non-cancerous. So they did the CT scan and there's nothing. I don't have any tumors or anything on my adrenal glands, which is fantastic. Um, so we're, we're good to go. I'm currently on cycle day 13. Um, I did not ovulate last cycle. I am not pregnant. Um, so I'm on cycle day 13 and I'm actually today going to be testing for ovulation as well. I've been testing the last few days. They've been negative. So I'm assuming today is going to be negative. Um, but we'll test for that. Um, and then I'm also doing a first response test. Now, like I said before, if you have been with my channel for a while, you kind of know what's up with this. I get false positives on first responses. Now, the reason why I'm doing this again is because on my last video, there were a lot of people saying that they couldn't see the line or, wow, you must be pregnant and all this stuff. I am in no way, shape or form pregnant. I've taken another pregnancy test, negative. I just had to start at a cycle. Um, I've had a CT scan done. I've had blood work done. I There's nothing in there. I'm not pregnant. Um, so I want to show you guys how I get false positives. Also, a lot of comments that I got was saying, you need to get checked. You know, people get false positives when they're, when, if they're not pregnant, if, you know, they have cancer or something wrong with them. Listen, I have had so many tests run um, and so much stuff done. I do not have cancer. Um, PCOS is just a hormone imbalance in your body in general. It's just a big, huge hormonal mess. Um, and the thing about first response tests is that they're so sensitive because they um, can detect different strands of the HCG hormone. Um, and so that could be from just, you know, cysts that I have producing that or just different things. All my hormones are just so off that it's hard to tell. But um, I've talked to multiple doctors, I've had tests done, and they're not concerned. So I'm not concerned either. It's just something that I know when I'm actually testing for um, pregnancy that I don't use these and that's okay with me. That's fine But I do just want to show you guys because I think it's so crazy and it's so weird um, And there was just a lot of people who couldn't see because the video quality wasn't really good in the last one um, I do have a better camera now and better internet We were in Nashville at the time and didn't have good inter internet to upload that so I'm going to be showing you guys that today but first I'm going to um, do a LH test I have I peed in a cup already, guys, so um, I promise it's my urine. I'm not stealing other people's urine to show you that I get false positives on a first response, but this is just my LH test. I don't know if you guys gonna focus. Nope, probably not. Oh well. So this is my LH test. I'm just gonna wait and dip it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. One, two, three. 
It's going across. I'll show you what that does. But we're also going to dip. The first response. It is blank, as you can see. There's nothing on it. It's blank. This is my urine. I'm going to dip this and show you guys the false positive that I get. So that's super fun. Three, four, five. I'm going to set that down and I'm going to show you guys what my ovulation tests look like and then we together are going to watch the first response test. All right, so here's my ovulation test. You can see the second line coming up, um, but I can already tell that's a big old negative. And so let's come on over here to and bring over the first response and watch it go. So it just finished coming up, so we shall see. Okay guys, so this ovulation test is definitely negative. You can see the second line, um, so I'm not sure, but because because I have PCOS, um, there's always a second line on mine, like it never fades very light. Um, this is actually pretty light considering. So I'm just gonna keep on testing and hope that it gets darker um, and hope that I ovulate on my own, which would be fantastic. Um, and then I just wanna show you the test after it's sat for a minute. Um, the pregnancy test, you can definitely see that second line, um, but I promise I'm not pregnant and I do not have cancer, okay? You guys, I have talked to so many doctors, I've had so many tests done, I promise I do not have cancer, okay? And I promise I am not pregnant. There's absolutely no way for me to be pregnant, okay? So, here we go. There it is, you guys. So... I get false positive on these and I know that I've had some comments um, in that in that previous video that said that they get false positive as well and they have PCOS I really do believe it's just because of the weird hormone imbalance and probably some cysts on my ovaries so I'm honestly not too concerned I just don't use these this brand so that's really all there kind of is to it so and I feel like if it was this positive on here my ovulation test would definitely look more positive than that if I were pregnant. So, I just think that's so crazy. It still blows my mind. This has been happening since 2013 and it still blows my mind that it is that positive. Um, so yeah guys, that's really all I have for you. I just wanted to give you guys a cycle update, what's kind of been going on and show you guys this just because I had it and I wanted to clarify and show people it's really there it really is there I'm not crazy I'm not just like making things up okay I'm not just saying that it's there and then like taking a test and watching it be blank so that I can get views this is not clickbait this is just information I guess about what happens and so and it's happened to other women so if this is happening to you don't feel alone you're not crazy do go get checked for cancer though because that is serious do get checked talk to your doctor um, but that doesn't mean there's anything wrong with you. So just know not to take these. So, all right guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Leave a comment below, give this video a big thumbs up. You all are awesome and I love you. Thanks.